This would be a good time to come aboard, yes? A proper introduction to our home. Yes, see, that's... This is the guy. Whoa. Holy smokes, he just stuck him right in front of our faces. Wow. Uh, is this some new form of yoga or something? Uh, maybe you could do it somewhere else, though, huh, buddy? Hey, guys and gals. Paulie Jr. here. Welcome back to No Man's Sky. We're just sitting in the cockpit here of my pink dragonfly spacecraft on a lovely, lush, and, well, relatively safe planet with the exception of this superheated rainstorm. But don't judge it based on that. Look at us passing already. See, it was 200 degrees Fahrenheit, <laughs> and now it's dropping rapidly. And I'm going to show you the most beautiful location, at least the, uh, the most beautiful location I've ever discovered. And I think it's probably safe to head out now. Yeah, here we go. Don't worry about the aminals, at least not that guy. He is fine. Yes, his behavior is wary. He's relatively friendly. There's one kind of crazy-eyed fella around here that tries to run you down, but I don't see him out right now. But yeah, this is a lovely spot. This is a beautiful little oasis. We have a beach, uh, a beach right here, so we're going to build up a little beachfront property. And we even have a, um, a trading outpost right up there on the hill. So that's going to be perfect for us, right? Was that the big crazy guy? No, who is that guy? I don't know who this guy is. We haven't met yet. Howdy, neighbor. Uh, he's calm. All right, calm. Well, that's what they said about the other guy with the crazy eyes, but he's definitely not calm. I don't see him around right now. If he comes around, we'll shoot him. Uh, anyway, so yeah, let's build up a quick base here. Well, not a base. We're just going to put down a base computer, and that doesn't take much. And then we can come back here and build up a proper base eventually. We'll put it right here. There we go. Base computer. It's got a kind of a randomized name. Retlin Outpost. Okay, well, we're going to change that after we make our claim. There we go. We claim, claim the base. Oh, dang it. I want to rename it, but it happened so fast. That's the problem with these hold the mouse button down systems. Oh, look at that. See, I told you. Isn't it lovely? It's location, location, location. That's what all the real estate people tell you for resale value. Oh, we can capture a screenshot. Well, let's do that during the day. This place actually looks much nicer during the day. Let's call it Oasis Base. Beautiful. Oasis Base. Okay. Let's just leave for now. We'll take a screenshot in a moment. So now we can build up a base here and put down a teleporter and all that fun stuff. But um, today's episode, we're actually going to focus on... Uh, we're going to focus on finding the space anomaly, which is up there in outer space somewhere. Oh, there's our... Uh, my capital ship is up there, which we had captured well not captured we were rewarded with that in the last episode um so yeah pretty cool stuff um okay yeah let's do this let's bring up our let's let's get inside the ship even though there's no hazards there's no hazardous environment on this planet you do actually lose oxygen obviously you can't breathe here but there's no like cold or scorching heat or anything here so it's kind of nice now let's have a look at our log so, in the last episode, I think I tried finding the anomaly, and I was following the wrong mission. This is not the mission we're looking for. I know it says the space anomaly, um, it tells you to board the space anomaly, but you can't do that one until you find it. So, I have uh, I've done a lot of research on this, and I've been uh, flying around from system to system trying to locate this thing, and I, I haven't been able to do it. But I've been told to follow the main storyline, which is this one right here, the Awakenings. We need to travel to the Stranger's Coordinates. And that is, well, it's not in this system, but we'll uh, we'll go there in a second. I just want to wait till daylight because I want to show you guys this place in the day. It's so cool. Um, in the meantime, I may just do, yeah, let's, uh, I'll do some identification work here. And then, uh, then we'll be off to find our space anomaly, which is the, um, it's essentially the new multiplayer hub. And that's where you go to meet up with people do missions together and that sort of thing and I'd love to find it because that is actually part of the quest anyway and if we still have time we'll go to my original base and we'll build up some power there because now bases require power oh there's there's little sea creatures too oh cool cool are they friendly oh look at that what are they, what are they? I don't know let's go get a little closer and check them out friendly this guy's friendly Yes, he's friendly. Hi. Just passing through, fella. Hey, guys, I found crazy eyes. Look at him. Look at those eyes. It says he's calm, but he's not calm. Don't let him fool you. He's trying to run us down. So I think I'm going to have to shoot him. Sorry, buddy, but uh, we got work to do here. I'm going to shoot him with my blaze. Oh, you better run. 
You better run. He was trying to flank us. Zap! Got him! Now they're all gonna run. Have I identified these guys yet? See, I'm telling you, this place is like a nature preserve. It's really cool. So many critters here, and I want to feed them some of the new pellets, and then we can, uh... We can ride some of these guys. Pretty awesome. Are you taunting me? Alright, up, up, and away we go. We're gonna shoot straight for the stars. And then we will, um... We'll follow the the path to the stranger's coordinates, but we gotta get into outer space first. Right here we be. So let's uh, let's bring up our galaxy map. Okay, this is not the system we want. We want to go to this system. Hold on, let's expand that. Yeah, this one right here. Mission signal detected. Stranger's coordinates. So let's warp to that one. I've got some gas in the warp engine. Yes, we do, and away we go. And here we are. There's the Atlas interface. I've already been there. We need to go here. Stranger's coordinates. So I'm just going to step on the gas here with the pulse engine, and we'll zip on down and be there in less than 30 seconds. All right. Through the atmosphere, and let's approach the location. So I've had this quest for a long time, and I just haven't been working on the main quest because I've been so busy just exploring and finding locations and expanding the base and doing fun stuff like that. But yeah, this is how you find the Space Anomaly. You just have to follow the main quest line. I was going crazy with that other quest, and that's obviously not the one we want. All right. Oh, is it? ship here. Ooh, ooh, do we get to keep that ship? <gasps> oh, yeah, we'll add it to my collection. I've got two other ships. We have two, maybe even three up on my freighter right now. I'll show you guys that stuff later. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's the same color as mine. Pink. Beautiful. Exhausted Owl WL4. Hold on. Let's not do that yet. I think... Oh, it's cold here. So cold. It's all right. Let's check this out. What do we have to do? We have to fix it up. Chromatic metal and sodium nitrate. All right, we got all that. It's a distress beacon. We have repaired it. Okay, here we go. Zzz, zzz. It's broken, I think. There are no signs of life. There is only the static of a broken communicator. All right, well, let's extract the records then. Whatever message was once here has been scrambled beyond recovery. All I extract is the pilot's name, Artemis. Whoever they were, they are long gone. Uh, can we have your ship, Artemis? <laughs> <laughs> the only other uncorrupted data is a set of plans, an upgrade from my mining beam. Oh, really? <gasps> Ooh, pulse spitter. Oh, cool. Oh, I like that. We can shoot that at crazy eyes. There it is. Pulse spitter. Specialist rapid fire weapon attachment for the multi-tool. Uh, all right. Well, we're not going to do anything with that right now. Oh, we got some machinery here. Can we fix this up? Pugnium! Oh, I've been carrying that Pugnium forever! <laughs> I knew it was going to come in handy sooner or later. Hey, just getting nanites out of it. No big deal. Uh, yeah, we still don't have an Atlas Pass. We're gonna... What? What'd I do? Um, anyway, let's check out this ship. This must have been... Well, it was Artemis's ship. Um, I like his, his color choices. Very nice. <laughs> let's check it out. It's exhausted little owl. Poor thing. Um, oh wow, it's got, well, let's compare it, it's got 25 slots, so it's got one less slot and it's just not, it's not as good as my pink dragonfly, so we're not going to swap, you definitely always want to claim, claim it, it's ours, it gets added to our ship inventory, and now we're going to make sure we switched back to this one just by hopping in, um, and now we can summon this ship, and I'm pretty sure it'll end up on our freighter. When we, when we go up there. Auto, automagically it does that, pretty sure. Alright, anyway, let's uh, let's get rolling. So hop in. I'm driving. And we're going to go right to outer space and go find our Artemis friend. So up, 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 and away we go. I love this part. I love just flying right... Oh, wait, someone's calling. Hello? Hello? Hi. It's Priest Entity Nada. Artemis Entity, we received your signal. Is it first? Is it last? Uh, oh, he thinks we're Artemis. Time for truth. You have their signal, but you are not Artemis Entity. Oh, gosh. Uh, should we tell him the truth or a lie? Um, I think honesty is the best policy. No, we're not Artemis, but we just found his stuff, and I, and I took a ship. Your signal is familiar with Tunada. We have been in contact before, I think. 
This would be a good time to come aboard, yes? A proper introduction to our home. Yes, see, that's... This is the guy. Whoa. Holy smokes, he just stuck him right in front of our faces. Wow. Okay, well, that was convenient. Delivery. Special delivery. Space anomaly. Oh, that was fantastic. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, dude, open up the door. There we go. All right, well, I did not expect that. What is that? What the heck? Looks like there were asteroids in the uh, entryway here. Oh, check it out, guys. Space anomaly. Arrive in three, two, one. Look at all the ships here. Oh, wait. Are these other players? <gasps> it is. I think so. Orax. That's Orax. The, the player Orax. Now, can we go say hi? I have voice off. Um, because you never can tell what people are going to say. I don't really want to talk to anybody. <laughs> but this is cool. I'm pretty sure these are all player ships. So people are just kind of parked here, hanging out. I don't see anybody walking around, though. Oh, look at that one. It's got like a custom paint job. Oh, watch out. Coming through. Yeah. Oh, Meta's, Meta's starship. Now, what if we do if I... Oh, I can't... I can't uh, communicate. Oh, here we go. Who's this fella? Wait a minute. I think we can do, like, emotes and stuff, right? Yeah, gestures. I'm gonna say hi. Hello, friend. Anybody home? Oh, there's a dude. Hey, wait. Hold up. Come back. This guy right here is not doing anything. Oh, I'm even saying over here. Over here. Over here. <laughs> I'm gonna give this guy a thumbs up. What else can we do? Nope. Help. Need resources. Sit down. Over here. Thank you. He's wearing the same uniform as me because I've never actually changed my outfit. I'm thinking about doing that. I think this outfit screams noob. <laughs> but we can change our outfit at, um, at space stations. So maybe we'll do that. What are we doing here? What does this guy do? Hey, fella, what does this guy do? I guess we can find out. Quicksilver something or other. Quicksilver synthesis companion. Create exotic items from... I don't have any Quicksilver. Look at all this stuff. First spawn battle mask. Okay, this is all just cosmetic stuff, apparently. I don't know where to get Quicksilver. I don't have any Quicksilver. Yeah, like I said, I've been kind of busy just kind of flying around, exploring, having fun. Um, I don't really know what Quicksilver is. I imagine I will find some. Who's this guy all flying around? So he's got a new suit. It's like, a, it's like an android or something. Oh my gosh, what happened to that guy's head? <laughs> it's gone. Here's the Nexus. Should we speak to the Nexus? Um, let's see. Signal detected. Anomaly. Speak to the station inhabitants. All right, let's just continue on with the quest. Now that we're here, we might as well just continue with the quest and see what's up. All right, so people are here. They're flying around. That's cool. And if I turned on voice, they'd probably all be talking. I don't know if I want to do that. Wow! Cheapers. Crow, tell me before you take off, dude. You nearly took my head off. That's probably what happened to that other guy. Lost his head. All right, let's continue with the quest. Uh, we got to go talk to somebody, but I, I'm kind of curious about this Nexus thing. This must be the multiplayer Nexus. The terminal rejects my input. Whatever its purpose, it appears I am not yet authorized to use it. I should find and speak to the inhabitant. All right, I have to speak to people first. Let's do that. Let's follow the rules. Oh, so JIB is initializing a mission at the Nexus. Yeah, see, I think the Nexus is what you use to coordinate missions with other players, that sort of thing. Oh, here's our guy. Hi, priest. We're here. We made it. I'm not Artemis. Like I said, I told you the truth. Speak with Polo. I told you. I knew it. Yeah, we have to find Polo. Uh, oh, hi. Oh, Polo. He's right here. Hi. I was sent to speak with you. Spend time with friends here. Okay. Well, I don't have any friends. So, thanks. That's what I'm looking for. The Space Anomaly is a hub for travelers. A nexus that unites them when wherever they are in the universe. Use Nada and Polo's home to meet other travelers. Undertake missions, earn nanites, or upgrade your equipment. So, speak to other travelers to earn nanites. Oh, really? So, if we're social, we, we, can, we can get nanites for being social. <laughs> <laughs> Learn new technology blueprints, browse a huge array of base parts, and speak to Nada about Artemis. Um, oh, oh, can I grab that? Yeah. Holy smokes, look at that thing. Way better than what I'm using right now. It's class B, but it has a lot more slots. Oh, I should buy it. I'm going to lose all this stuff, though, aren't I? Uh, 
That's such a shame, but man, look at all the slots. Yeah, I think that's a no-brainer, and I'm just gonna have to um, I'm gonna have to remake all this stuff. Although I wonder if I can decline first, go to my multi-tool, and then dismantle all this stuff and get yeah. I think I see I get stuff back. Wiring loom. So I think I'm gonna dismantle all this stuff and then buy that multi-tool. So I'm assuming that gun is there for me forever, right? Nobody else can buy it. Don't you touch that gun, pal. I saw it first. You got me? Or else. All right. Well, I'm bigger than him, so hopefully that was intimidating. And what else we got over here? We got uh, exosuit research. I'm not going to look at all these. Um, and starship research. All right. Cool. So, yeah, guys. We're at the Space Anomaly. And if we leave the Space Anomaly and go to a different system, we can always just summon the Space Anomaly. And it shows up in your menu right here. I mean, I can't summon the Space Anomaly in the Space Anomaly. That would probably cause some serious problems. <laughs> but when we're in outer space, we're going to be able to summon the Space Anomaly. So we'll have access to it at all times. Buddy, do you know how to fly? Can somebody check this guy's license, please? I found a whole new section, and I'm following my quest line here. We have to talk to Helios. He looks like Groot, kind of like, doesn't he? <laughs> He's got a tree for a head. Give data. Planets. Okay, there's all my data, bro. Please take these nanites. Thank you. Oh, wow. Look at those nanites. 240. That's pretty good. All right, very good. So there's another waypoint over there. Man, this place is pretty big. Hi, what's up? What do you do? Oh, wait, you're the cookerer. I think I found the cookerer guy. He's the chef. And we can give him stuff like a feline liver. <laughs> I've been carrying this stuff around forever. It's taking up a lot of space. Present meaty chunks. Tripe, rot. He doesn't, he doesn't want this stuff. Uh, scaly meat? Well, you have created the most average scaly meat imaginable. Quite some achievement. Oh, I'm supposed to give him, like, uh, maybe prepared foods. Yeah, no wonder he doesn't want that stuff. It's raw. All right, well, let's go see Celine. Celine's up here somewhere. Oh, my. What are we doing here? Uh, is this some new form of yoga or something? Uh, maybe you could do it somewhere else, though, huh, buddy? Where's that dude's arms? Freakish. All right. Let's, uh... Oh, wow! Put that thing away. What the heck? How do you not bite that off when you talk? So, Celine here heard a whisper of our arrival. Um, research exosuit upgrades. All right, fine. I guess we'll just do one of these. Because it's part of the quest. How about a coolant network? Sure, just, just grab it. There we go. Fantastic. I'm not going to make it right now. I don't have what I need. But we're just doing this quest right here. Oh, there goes that tongue again. Visit the construction research station. Okay. So this quest that I'm doing right now is the one that I had originally followed, thinking it was going to bring me to the Space Anomaly, but it doesn't. That one is to board the Space Anomaly, but you, like I said, you have to find it first with this main quest line. So that's the whole point of this video so i think what we might do is just call it quits here i'm actually going to explore a little bit and try to complete this quest um and then we shall reconvene in the next episode i think what we might do oh, there it is is go down to maybe the oasis base and build that up and put some power in because you do need to power your bases now oh, watch out low hanging arm uh, so we'll do that. We'll build up a base and make some power. Oh, I gotta go over here with the yoga class. Excuse us. Passing through. Construction research station. Oh, look at all this then. Cylindrical room. Cylindrical room. Oh, I like that. We make a cylindrical room now. Sweet. So I have a bunch of salvage data on uh, Pink Dragonfly right now. That's why it's allowing me to do this. Square room. Yeah, well, let's let's do a couple here. Speaking of bases, we might as well, all right? Straight corridor and a cool-looking door. All right, cool. I'll come back and look at that later. Let's see what we got here as far as quest goes. Speak to Nada. All right, now we can go back to Nada. Oh, coming through. <laughs> Finally, we're back to Nada. All right, there we go. Alone amidst the stars, return to space, search for clues about Artemis among the stars. Very good. Okay, I think I'm gonna just jump out the window here. 
Whee! And go save it in my ship again, and then go get that multi-tool. And then call it quits. Whoa! It's cool to see these ships come flying in and out of here so darn fast. <laughs> oh, you can type. You can do text typing. Are uh, there science, weapons, space terminals no longer a thing? I don't know the answer to that, but that's cool that you can actually do um, text chatting. So I didn't turn that off, but let me just go to the options. I'll show you real quick. Network and voice. Uh, multiplayer is enabled. You can join my group invite only. Voice chat I have disabled. Anyone can text chat. Can't do any damage. Um, can add base parts. No, no, no. Nobody can delete base parts. No one. Show ship marker to groups and friends and show on foot marker to group and friends. So, yeah, pretty cool. Can we see the whole nearby list? Wow, look at all these peeps. And you can join them right here and show their Steam profile. Pretty cool stuff, right? All right, awesome. Well, I think for now, my friends, we're going to call it quits here. And that's how you find the Space Anomaly. And like I said earlier, you'll be able to summon the Space Anomaly once you've found it at least one time, but you can't do it. Indoors, you have to be in, uh, in outer space to do so. So there you go. That's it for now. Hope you enjoyed. I will see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.